Hey guys, it's Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel and to another Throwback Thursday video. So for this video, we are going to bring it back all the way to the beginning of my channel. <laughs> this is obviously a very special palette to me because it is literally the first palette I ever used on my channel and it was four videos worth of looks. Um, so it definitely holds a special place in my heart. And this one did have a lot of requests on it from my palette collection video. I'm pretty much hitting all of the palettes that had four to five mentions. I'm hitting those first and then all the other ones I'll just start randomly grabbing from. But this one had a lot of mentions on my video and I also figured it would be a perfect time to use this palette for a video because Storybook is actually in the process of doing like a rep search. So they're wanting people to post looks and whatnot with their products. And you guys know obviously how much I love Storybook. So that would be a really awesome opportunity for me. So I figured why not do a look that I could submit for the rep search as well as kind of knock out one of my Throwback Thursday videos. So wish me luck. <laughs> so like I mentioned, I did do four different videos with this palette when I first started my channel. And I did kind of try to center it around the like Hogwarts houses, even though there's not like a yellow from a Hufflepuffs, but you know, it's, it's an inspired by. I know it's not supposed to be a Harry Potter palette, but I will say that the one color that I absolutely love in here that I don't feel like I really used to its fullest extent in my video is this gorgeous green color potions. Uh, the video that I did with the green color for Slytherin, I kind of more just used it as like a cut crease accent line. So I really want to use this color a lot more in today's look, maybe like all over the lid. I haven't fully decided if I want to do a halo eye or something else. I don't know, but I do know that I want that green to kind of be the star. So we'll see. I'm going to play around with some ideas in my head and then I will show you guys a look. I'm probably going to do this one as a voiceover because the lawn crew just pulled up. So it's about to get really noisy in here for a little bit. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to start out by using my Urban Decay Primer Potion to prime my eyes. And then I'm going to set just the brow bone area with some translucent powder. First shade I'm going into is Charms with a fluffy brush and I'm just blending this all through the crease and onto the brow bone just to kind of add a nice light transition down. I'm also adding it onto the outer portion of the eye. Then jumping into Broomsticks, I'm using a bit more of a tapered brush. This is kind of a fluffy angled brush and I'm stamping that into the crease area, doing two layers to make sure it's nice and dark. And then jumping back into Charms with the original fluffy brush and blending over that and really working on blending it into the brow bone area. Then jumping into Spellbook with a detailed blending brush, I'm adding this right into the crease portion to really deepen that up a good bit. And then I mixed Broomstick and Spellbook together and I started working this onto the outer portion of the eye and then I started gently flicking it outward to kind of create a little wing. Then I'm using a completely clean fluffy brush just to blend out the edges at the brow bone area. Then with my finger, I'm going into Salem and I'm patting this onto the outer portion of the eye over the top of those colors I already laid down. And then jumping into potions, I'm placing this all over the center portion of the eye, first with my finger, and then I'm going over it with a wet brush just so that it really stands out. And since I didn't cut out the crease, this will allow it to get a little bit closer to those brown shades. Then I'm just going back into Salem once more to kind of blend those two shades together on that outer portion. Jumping into Jinx with another wet brush, I'm adding this to the inner portion of the eye and kind of bringing it a little bit over the top of the green color right at the crease area. And then I'm also popping that shade into the inner corner and dragging it underneath just a bit. And then with a flat angled brush that I also sprayed with setting spray, I'm using potions to line the lower lash line. And then I'm running broomstick underneath that with a pencil brush, really kind of blending it back and forth. And then I dipped that pencil brush back into potions just so I could blend the two colors together a bit better. And then once more back into charms with a fluffy brush and just going all underneath those lower lash line shades. Now trying to pick out a fun glitter liner for an accent, I decided to go with Midnight Cowboy from Urban Decay and I'm just adding a nice little line where the cut crease would be. Then I dipped into my Anastasia Aurora Glow Kit into the shade Helia and added this over the top of that inner corner highlight just for a little bit more brightness. For the waterline, I'm using Teaspoon from ColourPop just to really bring in that green shade. Of course, I had to bring back my Storybook Cosmetics Quill and Ink Liner. They actually just reformulated the liners and sent out replacements to everybody who had bought it originally because they were starting to dry out over time. So this is my first chance getting to play around with it. And so far, I think it works really nicely. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and add some ColourPop Black Mascara and House of Lashes Iconic Lights. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got both eyes done now and there's no more noise outside so we can chat again. Um, I did want to mention, so I did the ColourPop Black Mascara on top and the House of Lashes Iconic Lights like I showed you guys, but I did decide to finally use my red ColourPop Mascara on the lower lash line. You'll probably be able to see it better obviously in the close-up 
I do feel like it kind of works nicely. I feel like these mascaras obviously look best if they can kind of stand out on top of whatever color you're putting down. Originally, I thought it would be really cool to do like a red lower lash line with this mascara, but then it just blends in. But I feel like with the green, it's coming off this really pretty burgundy color and I kind of like it. And I thought it would be a nice little tie into the lip color I chose, which is Sorcerer from Storybook Cosmetics. So I was kind of between doing this one and Salem. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to do, but then when I decided to do the red mascara, I was like, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. This is just a really pretty red metallic and it is meant to match the red Sorcerer eyeshadow shade here in the palette. It's supposed to be this color right here. They did this collection with Sorcerer, Potions, Merlin, and Salem. And I really like the collection, it's a lot of fun. So let me go ahead and apply this and we'll be finished. God, I love this lip color. It is so beautiful. I think I forgot how pretty it was. It's kind of got this almost like pink metallic shift to it. I just see like this little subtle, it's just something. There's a little something about it. You can't quite put your finger on, but it's really beautiful. And I think it looks really good with this eye look. So I'm very happy with the way this turned out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little throwback to the Wizardry and Witchcraft palette. Like I say in all of my throwback videos, if you guys wanna see more looks with this palette, just let me know in the comments below and I'll keep it on my list so that I can revisit it again in the future. So if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I did just pass 5,000 subscribers, which is super amazing. So of course I wanted to say thank you to everybody who is a subscriber and has been with me. It really does mean a lot to me and I have so much fun interacting with you guys and doing these videos. So I'm glad that I'm able to do something that I really enjoy. This has kind of been such a fun little thing that I started that's kind of blown up into something a lot more than I thought it would be when I first started. So thank you to everybody who actually enjoys watching my videos and comments and I just love you guys. <laughs> so I know I've mentioned it in the past, but I have been kind of gathering up some indie brand palettes. That's what I'm gonna do this time around is I've got five indie brand palettes that I'm going to be doing for my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I've just ordered the very last one. So as soon as it gets here, I'm gonna do the giveaway. I haven't quite decided how it's gonna be done yet. I might just sneak the giveaway into a video so that it's actually for you guys, my subscribers, and not just like somebody who searches for giveaways. <laughs> so that's probably what I'm gonna do because obviously I want it to be for you guys and I want it to be one of you guys that actually wins who's actually been a subscriber. So that's all. I just wanted to let you guys know that's coming up. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you have the notification bell checked. And I try, I'll try to do it maybe like next week, hopefully next week or the following week. Cause I'd like to be able to have all the palettes to show you guys when I do it. So that's all. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.